Shalawan was the foremost of the workers on the board to the Hawa, the Hashem, the Hawa Shah, the Hashem, the Hawa Shah, the Hawaiians, the apostles, and others who gave the most to his will, and who has to wind up a certain truth. This is for the whole for elected Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you spread the words that's scattered over the, four, over the four corners of the earth, that's mingled within the other nations, and you like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage goes back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, and his brother speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yahweh, see, how wide he is, and exists. The name of the Holy Spirit, his son, is Yahweh, Shai. Yahweh, see, Yahweh, the Savior, the Deliverer. You're not learning the Savior, Yahweh, Shai, so you're not learning to come in these last days. You are most definitely in the last, in the last days. Okay, just a brother from uh, the GMS Detroit camp, from downtown, you know, early before camp, to get this quick lesson out. And it's just my observation. Basically, this is just a spiritual conversation because uh, some things that happened this morning, which, you know, lets you know that Jake is off this whole kingdom of Esau, even the Richard E. Lee Bacon families. The self proclaimed white man is off. Everything is thrown out of, out of whack. Okay, but soon his kingdom will be taken down. Okay, now I'm looking across the street, which is past. Uh, uh, Heart class, well, uh, little spot before you get to heart class in Detroit. Okay, they everybody dressed in pink. They got the radio station out here, right? You know, and they got it, the kids on up and down, dancing outside. And it's early, okay. It's 10:36, okay. It's early, right? It's got a little sprinkle and showers, but everybody in that festive mode. Everybody wearing pink. You see a variety of uh, uh, moles and holes, okay? And this is the state in which this nation is in. And that's why it's getting ready to fall because it's that time. Okay, and with that being said, I'm gonna make this not long, you know, according to the spirit. And with, and with that being said, let's get First Thessalonians, okay? First Thessalonians 5, okay, and 1. But are the times in the season, brother? Ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the heavenly Father your power so coming as a thief in the night. Okay? For when they shall say, for, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them. They ask to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. For ye, brother, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you. That's what they So if you all do let you see what's going on around you, okay? And you're gonna do accordingly, okay? You're gonna continue to do these lessons, and you're gonna continue to seek mercy from your heart by seeing your heart side because you see these other people, they're not doing that. They're in a festive mode, okay? And they're partying. They're doing the things that the heathen nations do. So you chase out there, Two thirds, your help is you, know, you got nothing coming to you but destruction on the side, okay? Along with we saw Edom and the other heathen nations, okay? You got Jacob's trouble that's around the corner, okay? We have to threshold lightweight with it, okay? Jacob's trouble is coming, Jeremiah 30 and 7. We're in lightweight stages, our second edge is 15, okay? Again, we're going to morph into Second Ezra 16, and these things are not telling you, and that's Habakkuk 2. Matter of fact, let me get that, okay? Let me get it. Look at Habakkuk. So like it. Because these things, you know, everybody in a festive mode, mode, they're not even watching what's going on around them. Habakkuk 2, okay? And one in the read, I will stand upon my watch, okay? And set me upon the tower and will watch to see, okay? What he will say unto me and what I shall ask when I am recruited. And the Holy Father, Yahweh. Show me Yahweh. So I asked him and said, write the vision 
in the plain upon tables that he may run that region. Okay? And it's being made plain right before me your face upon the tables. Okay? And you think people will run and he just warning, but they're not. They're not. So therefore that's slavery for those thermonuclear missiles when they hit to destroy this place. And that's what they elected. The hopeful elect on this side are waiting for. We're waiting for our Lord and Savior Yahweh side to come back and get recompense to Esau even and the other heathen nations. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, because they are they are proud. Okay. They are proud. Okay. And you know what happens to the proud, okay? Destruction, okay? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, nor tear away from it, because it will surely come, it will not tear. What will not tear? Their NWO, okay? Revelation 13, 16. The banks are collapsing. People are getting laid off in the jobs, okay? Inflation is double, triple digit. Okay, they're getting ready for Revelation 13 and 16 to provide see that. Okay, and if you take it subdelian plane under your skin, Revelation 14, 9 to 10 verse, you will be destroyed by fire and brimstone, which represents double nuclear missiles, okay? And the chariots of Yahweh in your house are with the concentrated fire coming out of it. Okay, which are the laser beams, and which you people ignorantly call UFOs and UAPs. Okay. This is the state of mind that you people are in. Okay. This is the state that you're in. You know, so you've been warned, okay? You've been warned, okay? Ezekiel 2, 17. Okay, Ezekiel 2, yes, and let's see. Let's start at the third verse. And it reads, and, 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 and this is the prophet Ezekiel. Okay, and this is his job as a, as a watchman. Okay, and it says, Ezekiel 2 and 3, and he said to me, Son of man, I sent thee to the children of Israel. So you're being, you know, you're, you're prophesying to the children of Israel to let them know that the day is coming. You are rebellious, okay? That's how you know that you are Israel, because right? you're rebellious black, okay? I send thee to the children of Israel, a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even until this very day. And if you look at Deuteronomy 28, 68, you know the blessings and the curses, okay? We are the bundle of the curses. But you niggas out there, you know, you believe you're free. You're not that bad. Uh, 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 slave, uh, uh, post traumatic straight slave says, or state of mind. Okay? Nothing we can do for you. Nothing. You, 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 you are your lot. Okay? Again, you go two and three, and you said it to me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers are transgressing against me, even to this very day. But they are empty, their children, they're still hearted. Okay? I do send thee. And to them, and thou shalt say to them, the sins, and they come to their heart of They, whether they were here or whether they were forbid, they are rebellious house. Yet, you shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So when these things happen, they're warned that things happen, you're going to know. Right? You're going to know that the prophet is there among them. So are, are you scoffers out there? Are you want to, to, to talk shit? Okay, what day is coming? And then you don't even know, okay, they was, they was right. Starting first and foremost, the, 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 uh, our apostles and elders are great. No, so on down. They've been warning you for decades. 
Okay. Now we're coming up on the skin. What are you gonna do? Okay. What are you gonna do? You see on the nose. Okay. This is the skin to corrupt it. It's out there. Okay. You see it on the nose, wars and rumors of wars. You see it on these things. Okay. But you still wanna you still wanna uh, uh, stay upon what you believe. Okay. You still wanna you still wanna go out and cash a lot for the for, for people, for a woman. And for a man to hate you, okay? So you continue to do these things, okay? Continue to do it, okay? Then you're going to know at that time that the prophet, the prophets, a company of prophets has, has prophesied to the truth of what's, what's getting ready to happen, okay? And we're getting the blood off of our hands, okay? So with that, let's get going down to the 17th verse. So the man have made me a wife to the house. Of Israel, therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and hear the warning for me. And I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, which is being sin upon sin. Okay? But his blood will I require a die in So we're getting the blood of fire. Okay? We're getting more. Okay? You know, so while you're walking around here, running around here early in the morning, with your pink on, with the, with the so-called black news, the black radio station, you're having a good, good time, okay? You're just stressing the stomach for you, okay? Not other you like, okay? So the beginning of the blood off I am, okay? So I'm about to end it. This is just something quick, okay? There's something that was on my mind this morning. Okay. Jeremiah 17, okay, and 5. Because the man that trusted in man and make a flesh is out, whose heart departed from the, the most high your heart. Okay? So that's what you gotta understand. You trust in your own, your, your, your weapons, you trust in your money, you trust in these other nations, you trust in Esau either. Don't play white man like these heathen nations do. You're gonna be destroyed. On this side, you will be destroyed, okay? Because you're trusting in men. Okay? Again, Jeremiah 17, the 5. Curse be the man that trusted in man, okay? And make a flesh his heart, whose heart you are from the most side of your heart. Okay? But he shall be like he can be desperate. Shall not see when good comes, but shall have the parts places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not have it. Blessed is the man that trusts in the most high Yahweh, whose hope is the only part of Yahweh is. But he shall be a tree planted by the waters that spread it out her roots by the river, shall not see when he comes. Okay? But the leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, and neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Okay? So you're gonna be, you know, anybody that trusts you, you're gonna have to follow the in the house, right? which will be a thing that, you know, that's the scripture said. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge of the secret of the time, the fear of the heavenly father of the house shall be his treasure. That's gonna be your treasure, okay? It's wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the Holy Scriptures. It's gonna be your treasure, okay? And that's what you, everyone should be upon, okay? The Holy Scriptures, okay? The faith in the high rise in the house. Right? Because these, these displacers can be able to destroy. They just travel around the corner. Okay? And with that, the water to the humble of my house. The water to the humble of my house. That's the lot of the And I give all praise on the glory to the humble of my house. 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 The humble of my house.